In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone your hard drive from one computer, master computer, to several computers. Actually, a lot of computers. I have to do all this. Uh, I need to clone all, uh, all my uh, computers using the image I already have prepared. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do. So I'm taking the time to do this little video. There's several ways how to do this. Uh, we use a uh, a program called the uh, FOG, F-O-G, Free Online Ghost. That's what it stands for. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to how to use the already built-in Windows uh, Windows tool. Right here, we have our main master image. So you go to Control Panel. When you're in Control Panel, you're going to go to back up your computer because that's already built in into Windows 7. So from there, you go to Create a System Image. You're going to get this little window and it gives you uh, three different options where you can back up your image to. You can back it up to a hard drive, which we already have plugged in to a CD or DVD. That will take like tons of DVDs or a network location. You can do the share and the username if password is required. In this case, we're going to use our high tech hard drive and I'll show you why it's high tech after a while. So it's going to confirm to back up your settings. These are the two partitions we're going to back up, or the drives actually. It's going to say Windows is saved in the backup. So it's preparing to create a backup. So here's my high tech hard drive. So let's fast forward. When you're done creating the image, it's going to ask you, do you want to create a restored uh, DVD? You're going to say, uh, select create disk. In my case, I already created one, so I'm just going to hit cancel. And it's going to say the backup completed successfully. So you go ahead and close this. You shut down your computer. And as you can see, I have two partitions. Because I'm going to do a special setup on my uh, campus in my school. So we're just going to go ahead and shut the, down this computer, or master computer, or master image. We're going to plug in another one. So we plug in our high-tech hard, dri uh, hard disk drive, and we power it on. And we're going to boot off the, uh, the disk we created earlier. So again, all these things are uh, already installed in Windows Professional. I don't know about uh, home or other editions. We're going to boot off the DVD and it's going to load the files. So it's kind of shaky because I'm uh, fast forwarding this. So I don't want to wait through it the whole two minutes that it takes uh, to load up. So after it loads, you're going to get a, um, make sure you have your uh, hard drive or your device that you save your image to, to your computer. So it's going to start searching for Windows installations or actually Windows images that you backed up. I should have forwarded this as well. But anyway, it's already running so Okay, so there it is. It's saying operating system, Windows 7, the partition size. That's what what was found on the actual computer, but we're gonna select uh, restore your computer from another, from a system image backup. So it's gonna, um, it's gonna look for it and, it's, and it found it on Abraham 8A, my external disk. Select the image. So there it is, the location. You can uh, specify the drivers if you need, but it's not necessary because it's uh, the actual same uh, computer type and everything, same model. So we're going to select that. It already found it, so if you need to find it elsewhere, you can select an image from the network or other places. So if you need to load additional drivers and for advanced, I mean, I didn't touch that, so that's what um, that's what I did. So I just click OK. Next. Usually uh, leaving the defaults uh, the way they are, you should be good. 
So it's picking up the old name. Add a few Cal 12. It's going to ask you that everything's going to be formatted. If you want to proceed, you can uh, go back and retrieve your files. So it's going to take a while to re-image your computer. Once it's done, it's going to ask you, do you want to restart your computer now? You can go ahead and click yes or wait for it to do it by itself. So yeah, once it's done, it's going to load up exactly the way the other one was. It's just going to make a clone because it's the same image. So you're able to log in, username and password. Once it boots up, remember we had uh, two uh, different partitions. So one is my local C. And the other one, it's going to be a temp folder. Because we are going to be using deep freeze, I'm going to leave the uh, temp folder, the X, uh, thought out. And that's a different story. If you're familiar with uh, deep freeze, oh, that's what we're using. So in this case, we have a 200 and some gig hard drive. But to make the image smaller, I went ahead to disk management before I uh, did the image and reduced the uh, file, not the file size, but the partition size. Uh, I made it smaller so it, so it wouldn't take that much time. So it's a 29 gig uh, partition where it's uh, 200 and some gigs of uh, unallocated space. So we don't have to worry about that partition. So that's pretty much it on how you clone your computer to a different computer. Thanks for watching.